Where are you? I'm waiting for you at the place we started. Welcome. Hello. Director, please don't worry. He will be here soon. I just got off the phone with him. He'll be here shortly. Oh, sorry! Director, is everything okay? They said the light fell again. Yeah. It was frightening. No one got hurt, right? No, no one. Where's Roselle? There. She was just over there. Did you see Miss Nee? No, I didn't. Driver, can you give me a ride? Sure, get in. Okay. Do you really know the place we started? Uncle! Why are you guys just getting here? Ask these young lovebirds. They report everything to their girlfriends. Why didn't you tell me Yates got his memory back? You really don't value me, do you? Sis, it's not like that, but he insisted on... All right. They already told me. I'll deal with you later. Does Roselle still not know? She doesn't know. The first thing he did after getting his memory back was to pretend he didn't remember to protect Roselle. That's so romantic. Never mind. Have you seen Roselle? Huh? Isn't she on set? There was an accident just now. The light on set fell again. Huh? I searched everywhere. Someone said she already left. No! This! Mr. Who asked us to come protect Roselle. When we got here, she was already gone. Mr. Colin, did you find Miss Nee? No, I didn't. Don't panic! Let's search this area first and then figure it out. Unless absolutely necessary, do not alert Mr. Huo. All right. I'll ask the staff to help look for her too. Okay. What was the name of the child who almost got adopted? Him? His name was Fan Fan. Here. I have your records here. These are the records from the day you were adopted. And this is his. Is this address their current address? Oh. Hello, sir. Young man, why are you knocking on this door? I'm looking for a childhood friend. Can you check if this address is correct? Uh. Uh. The address is correct. What's your friend's name? I only remember he was called Fan Fan when he was little. The child from this family was indeed called Fan Fan when he was young. Uh. His dad died young, and his mom remarried. Later he took his stepfather's surname, Fang, Surname Fang? Mm. Then what's his name? Joe Fang. <laughs> Sir, do you have his childhood photos? Uh. He used to play with my kid a lot. I have some of his photos. I'll go home and get them for you. Okay, thank you. All right. So? It was me who replaced you. Where are you exactly?
didn't you say before? The day I got adopted, it was raining. Now there are raindrops painted on this painting. So I'm thinking, could it be related to the day I was adopted? Was it painted that day? You said before, my parents didn't initially plan to adopt me. I asked them, but they didn't tell me why. So, what happened that day? Actually, this matter is also painful. For your parents, it was raining that day. Initially, you didn't come out to play. Your parents had their eyes on another child. Later, the rain stopped. You came out eating a lollipop and greeted that child. Your parents saw it and insisted on adopting you. I understand now. It's because lollipops are Roselle's favorite. Hello. Bro, we didn't protect Roselle well. There was a disturbance on set today. A clown mask fell. And Roselle disappeared. Disappeared? <sighs> didn't I tell you to keep an eye on her? Um, what now? Enough. Don't say more. I'll go find her. We'll wait for you at YDUMC. Be careful, okay? Young man, take a look. Is this the person you're looking for? Can I take a picture? Sure. Thank you. <sighs> this child had a tough time growing up. Why are you doing this? Did you like my performance guidance? Now the director. Should be satisfied, right? The whole crew should be in chaos, right? I went to the Together Cafe and saw that whiteboard too. So it's not just anonymous emails. Also, the cruise matters. We're all you're doing? Why are you doing this? Why treat Yates this way? At this point, aren't you curious why our beginning is here? And not the cafe? What do you mean? Once here, a little girl found a boy named Fan Fan. I found you. I found you too. <laughs> We're all together. Let's go back. That day, <laughs> I waited for a long, long time. Until everyone. They forgot about me. I thought I was abandoned once again. Just like my family, who left me at a bustling crossroad. I was really sad then. It was you who held my hand. Fan Fan, I found you. Let's go back. You are the only light in my life. So, you are Fan Fan? I... I kept our memories as light. Hidden in the softest, softest part of my heart. I tried everything to find you. 
but I never thought. In the end, I would still want to thank someone. Roselle, thank you. On the day of the UN Awards, he announced publicly that you were his girlfriend. Also on that day, I found out you were the little girl who gave me light. I told myself, I must let you go. But you know what? When you said you wanted to work part-time at the cafe, I had never been so happy. I started to cherish my life immensely. I began to cherish every minute, every second with you. But Yates' presence always pulls me back to reality. I told him your family secret. I thought you would resent him for taking your parents away for so many years. But unexpectedly, you received everyone's blessing and got engaged. Seeing you so happy, I started forcing myself to give up. But Yates came to provoke me. I told myself I must let go. So I chose to confess to you. I like you. Like you very much. Very, very much. But you probably couldn't hear. My inner screams then. I was using a confession to say goodbye to you. Only then would my heart die. And I wouldn't waver because of you. Making Yates pay back for the harm he did to me. Thank you for being honest with me today. I never expected this. And I hadn't noticed a thing before. Joe. The past is in the past. I came here today, hoping you... No. I'm begging you. I'm begging you to let him go. You love him so much. Haven't you realized you've been deceived by him? What do you mean? I used you. I used you to send the teddy bear with the bug to Yates. He discovered it. Then acted in a play in front of the bug. We should break up. And the reason he broke up with you was because he feared if you knew I used you, you'd be in danger. So... He remembered. I... Joe! Are you all right, Roselle? Joe said, you remembered everything. Is it true? I'm sorry, Roselle. I'll explain it to you later, okay? You don't need to explain. I know you did it to protect me. Yates. Why is it every time I approach the light? You appear. Joe, this is between you and me. Don't involve Roselle. Yates, what are you doing? Joe! Yates, listen up. The debt of changing my life. I'll make you repay double. Joe! Yates, are you okay? Stop beating him. Why didn't you dodge? I owe you. You owe me. You finally remembered it all. Joe. Sorry for your suffering. Yates. 
Keep those empty words to yourself. Hypocrite. Joe. I warn you. Don't call me Joe anymore. Because hearing Joe from your mouth makes me sick. But it's been too long. I don't remember what I was called before. If I'm not Joe now, I really have nothing left. I'm begging you to stop this. Joe, don't be like this. If not like this, can everything start over? Oh! <laughs> Joe, I know it's all my fault. If it weren't for me, you wouldn't have experienced the pain of losing your beloved foster father, your foster mother marrying a stepfather, and being abused. That's why you've become like this. It's all because of me. Who told you to look into this? If I'm not mistaken, that note was drawn by Roselle for you on the day I left, right? I remember now. I actually knew nothing that day. It was Grandma Nee who told me you were upset and asked me to comfort you. I didn't know what to say, so I drew that picture for you. Every day, I wear a hypocritical mask to barely survive in society. Whenever I'm alone, I have to use all my strength to fight against the brokenness inside. So, Yates, the position of producer. I can't give it back to you. And I want to appear in your life. Make you feel the pain I once felt. Joe, I'm not here to take back the producer role. Saying empathy is quite worthless. Even if you want revenge on me, I won't fight back. Joe, I just want to say one thing to you. Let yourself go. I don't want you to fall deeper because of me, even ruining your life. Let me pull you out of the abyss. Just like when we were kids, holding your hand. You held me? Maybe you don't remember. Maybe Roselle forgot too. Back then, when we played hide and seek, it wasn't just Roselle who held your hand. Ready or not, here I come. Count to ten. No peeking. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We all got found. Who's next to seek? Me! 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 No, Fan Fan isn't found yet. Let's go find him together. Okay. You guys wait here. Okay. Fan Fan, I found you. Let's go back. Fan Fan, let's go back. Back then we could find you. Now we definitely won't leave you behind. When the sunlight breaks through, it will warm every corner, warm every lonely heart.
Oh my god. Mm. I can't believe it ended like this. Mm. So touching. Who would have thought all this had to do with Joe? Even if he was hurt as a child, he shouldn't have done something so extreme. Luckily, there were no irreversible consequences. So, what happened later? Joe has already faced the legal consequences he deserved. Yates, you should let it go too. After all, you were so young then. I think I still need some time to process it. At least the knot in your heart is untied now, right? That's great. The happy life can continue. You're interrupting again. What? Isn't life about being optimistic? But you should know when it's appropriate. Pay back the money for drinking. I'll give you less. Bye. All right. Let's get back to the main topic, shall we? So no one will come between you two now, right? What kind of main topic is that? I'm just concerned about Roselle and... I know you love to talk now, but mind the occasion. Don't bring up what's best left unsaid. Uh... It's fine. Don't blame Adrian. I've come to understand. The most important thing is... In this world, nothing and no one can shake my love for Yates. There's still a single baby here. Mm. You know what? There's also a single old baby here. <laughs> I suddenly remembered something. Um... When did you remember? After fainting that night. <sighs> After fainting? <laughs> Do you remember what happened before you fainted? Before fainting? No way, Yates. That night, Roselle... <laughs> Never mind. Don't leave it at that. What? I mean, let's consider the wedding I owe you. You remember? You tricked me. How bold are you? Of course I remember. You gave me the most unforgettable proposal. Then, I'll make sure you have an even more unforgettable wedding. <laughs> we can only wish you a happy marriage. A happy marriage? A, a happy, happy marriage. marriage. Bring the red envelope. Don't just say it. I will give you a large one. Deduct it from your salary. As your brother-in-law, I will give you a large one too. <laughs> Who's my bro-in-law? Look at you! Long time no see. Please come in. Sit anywhere. Please come in. Sit anywhere. The wedding is about to start. Why aren't you going in? I just gave your wedding gift to Roselle. 
She looked so beautiful in her wedding dress. If you ever treat her poorly, you know me. Thank you. But you won't get that chance. Then I wish you both a long and happy life together. I'll be leaving now. What do you mean? Thank you for inviting me to your wedding. I thought a lot in jail about what you had said to me. Indeed, I should let go of hatred and seek a new life. I'm really glad to hear you say that. So, I wish you all the best in the future. You should keep on writing. I am no longer fit to be your competitor. Are you just giving up like that? I don't accept it. I don't want to fight alone anymore. Whatever. Joe? Let's write a novel together. We'll see. this beautiful lady beside you to be your lawful wedded wife in sickness and in health for richer or for poorer for whatever reason do you I do good bride do you take this handsome man beside you to be your lawful wedded husband do you same as above do you? I... I do! <laughs> Roselle, I love you. Congratulations! Adrian, don't fight me on this. Why not? I'm not getting any younger. I'm anxious too. Give me that! Luna. Ning. Will you marry me? Since we're here, do you two agree? Let us know. Why aren't you going in? Is this okay for us? Scared? I'm not scared. Isn't it just the Huo's legal consultant? I can do it. Let's go. What is it? Thank you for buying this store for me. Fulfilling my dream. 
From now on, I'm the boss lady, and you're the boss. I was just thinking of changing the name to something about us. Ning and Adrian. How about we call it Adrening Pet Lodge? What do you think? Adrening? Sounds like a flower shop's name. I think it's great. Well, you know, this name includes both of us, symbolizing our everlasting relationship. <laughs> okay, as long as you like it. By the way, my parents are coming to see me tomorrow. I want to bring them here for a tour and have dinner with you. You reconciled with them? It wasn't that bad to begin with. Then let's prepare to leave a good impression on them. Okay. Let's go. Hey. Uh... In the end, everyone has someone, and I'm still hanging out with you. <laughs> Uncle, after this trip, I have a surprise for you. What surprise could you possibly have? I'll set you up on a blind date. What era is this? How outdated? Outdated? I think it's great. Her name is Ella. Ella? <laughs> that name is impressive. Right? Sounds like a match made in heaven. <laughs> Where is she? Where? When's she coming? Uncle, you're too eager. After this trip, I'll arrange for you two to meet. What trip? Ask her out for me. At YWMC in this afternoon. We're supposed to board a plane. We're not going. What's more important than my blind date? I want her to see how I can make YWMC bigger, stronger, and bring it to new heights. Uncle, you're being too extreme. Extreme? It's my longing for love. Renowned novelist Sky Yates teams up with former popular writer Joe to create the final chapter of the Mario series. Joe was punished for his past mistakes, but has since turned over a new leaf. Former rivals are now collaborating for the first time. Highly anticipated. You're so busy filming, and you still have time to write a new novel? And you didn't even tell me. It was meant to be a surprise for you. I never expected your relationship with Joe to improve so much. What's the new novel going to be about? I haven't decided yet. But Mario and White Lies are really different. How so? He used to be unable to handle losing. Appearing cold on the outside, but very fragile inside. Now he's much more at peace with himself. Sometimes winning or losing isn't that important. Mario thanks Julie, because she helped him grow a lot. Julie also needs to thank Mario. She was always busy by herself, avoiding deep connections with others, thinking it saved her a lot of trouble. Actually, she was just afraid to face her own emotions. Until Mario came along, she realized she also needed to love and be loved. Do Mario and Julie get married at the end of the story? Of course. This is the final chapter of Mario. I'm definitely going to write about their love story. In a really sweet way. Highlighting their growth during their love journey. It's not about winning awards. But to remind me. What's most important. I can't wait! Uh... Honestly, just thinking about the Mario series ending makes me a bit reluctant. There will be new characters and new stories. As long as we're together, my inspiration will never run dry. We will definitely always be together. I have something for you. What is it? Here, take it. I love you. I love you. Oh, Yates! What did you call me? Yates! What should you call me now? The angel fire.
What? Didn't you just say Mario and Julie are about to get married? Hubby? The wind's too loud, I can't hear you. Hey, you heard me clearly. I want to hear it again. Hubby! We will definitely always be together. Hubby! We will definitely always be together. Oh, <laughs> 